scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. The Holy Holy Ghost, take your place, take your place, take your place, take your place, take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe upon that fibroid. Breathe upon that lump. Breathe upon that genotype issue. Breathe upon that bone condition. Breathe upon HIV. Breathe upon cancer. Breathe upon rheumatoid arthritis. Breathe upon any and all cardiovascular issues. Breathe upon weakness in body. Breathe upon eye conditions. Breathe upon ear conditions. Breathe upon reproductive issues. Breathe upon digestive issues. Breathe upon respiratory issues. Breathe upon neurological issues. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I am going to pray. There are so many people outside. And all the overflows. And thousands more following from across the globe. Give Jesus a chance. Christ is about to be revealed as the power of God. I believe in miracles. I truly believe in miracles. And right now I want to pray for you. Now listen, don't start calculating and asking, how will it happen? Just like that, Mary asked that question already. How shall these things be seen that I know not a man? He said the power of the highest so the power of the highest is about to overshadow you and listen listen how the holy spirit got to the womb of mary leave that to the intelligence of god that is the same way his power he does not need to open you with a surgical knife he can get to your systems your organs and correct things what is your own assignment to believe in jesus as the healer to believe in his servant as the vessel and to take steps of faith so when i pray for you i want you to believe whether or not i mention your case you must believe from the depth of your heart and i'm going to ask you to check yourself and do what you could not do 
the moment you check yourself i'll be giving you a chance for those who have been healed everywhere inside and outside the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you if and when i ask you to come out i want you to come out don't be afraid the moment you find out that you can do now what you could not do before believe in jesus take your eyes away from the sickness i learned this from benny Hinn. he said in in all his years of crusading around the globe he found out that people who were focused on their infirmities would hardly get healed and so worship helps us to focus on jesus and you take your eyes away from the bodily condition and the moment you look at jesus you are changed into that which you are seeing place your hand now as an act of faith everywhere you are trusting god for a miracle you can stand in for someone i see people following from across the globe some of you are lifting pictures of loved ones some of you are standing in for families remember there are whole families with all kinds of conditions give jesus a chance just help those under the anointing i'm about to pray right now and i'm praying in the name of jesus so you can trust answers to this prayer lay your hands everywhere if it's your head lay your hands on your head if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and if you're fine and whole and there's nothing wrong with you you can stand in for someone absolutely the centurion stood in for his child majesty just keep your hand there your majesty your grace has found me just as i am empty-handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever i am changed by your love in the presence of your keep those hands there now you do mighty things you do glorious things the healing power of jesus is flowing you're a faithful god awesome is your name you do mighty things you do glorious things shabala sabrande gebaratush kalibra hasia one more time you do mighty things you do such healing streams in this place right now now in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god the one exalted today as lord and christ I rebuke the root cause of every infirmity. I rebuke the root cause of every disease. I rebuke the root cause of every plague. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit, help those under the anointing. Every spirit of infirmity. Every devil behind medical conditions blindness deafness dumbness blood conditions allergies in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead i banish you from these bodies right now in jesus name now i decree and declare in the name of jesus be healed now 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 be 
be healed now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet I bring you the life and power of Jesus be made whole right now in Jesus name every blind eye partial blindness or complete blindness you could not see well in the name of Jesus I command begin to see now every deaf ear your left ear or your right ear I declare the ears open right now in Jesus name every kind of allergy every kind of allergy around your body your skin I declare by the power that raised Christ be healed now every growth in your body any part of your body at all I decree and declare be healed now the Lord is ministering to me my God I'm here help that gentleman I'm hearing the word colon cancer colon cancer be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ and I'm seeing someone follow this meeting you are following from Federal Medical Center here in Abuja the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone of severe bleeding in the gum you have severe bleeding your gum the moment you go to brush you just find out that blood starts gushing out right now the help them please the power of God is touching you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ back pain the Lord is healing back pain in the name of Jesus everyone on wheelchair everyone on crutches using any kind of aid life to your limbs right now I declare begin to walk in the name of Jesus everyone plagued by stroke partial paralysis and stroke probably they carried you in here in the name of Jesus life to your body rise up and walk right now in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you I don't know if, is that you lost your sense of smell or you can't smell completely in the name of Jesus let that sense be restored now I've seen God minister this case before that is showing me you are you are a young lady you are not pregnant yet you are lactating you are producing breast milk in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon you right now and I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now the Lord is healing a condition I'm seeing a vision and I'm seeing PID this is what I'm seeing it whatever that means in the name of Jesus I decree and declare be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now now the Lord is showing me a very interesting condition here there is a woman I'm not a doctor um, and, and of course it's not everything we say here there are people with different from different um, age ranges and all of that and then we're on air but there is something in your system that does not allow the seed to get to you to be pregnant I see that that seed dies even before it gets there because of a a condition that you have right now the power of God I don't know where that person is right now Parasco body shalakata brandagata the power of God is touching you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ you can see the testimony of our dear sister who came here 22 months of carrying a child 22 months anything in your body that is not the planting of the Lord I flush it out right now now listen we are still praying it is it is still I'm still ministering healing but I'm seeing the power of God moving away I'm seeing at least this is at least 21 people from what I'm seeing there are objects that move physically you feel it in your body it begins to move sometimes from your leg down to various parts of your body this is not like you are dreaming physically you feel things moving the power of God is coming upon you right now at least 21 people
be healed in the name of Jesus there is a gentleman here you came here as a stammerer you will marvel and wonder right now that stammering stops now that stammering stops now now I don't know I'm seeing someone I don't know if he's in this you know this vicinity but you have like a tumor in your brain a tumor that means something is growing that is is a tumor like it's, it's cancerous in your brain I don't know if you are following online but in the name of Jesus I want you to release your faith I bring you life be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone in the overflow outside the overflow outside you're beginning to have symptoms it's like urinary problems but it's not really a urinary urinary problem from what God is revealing to me this is the early stage of prostrate prostrates that prostrate cancer like it happens to men this is what God is telling me outside in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now I'm seeing a woman that takes in you get you actually get pregnant but it never crosses the third month by the third month a spirit comes to you you will have a dream and see either a human being or an animal chasing you or you will see yourself bleeding and you wake up physically bleeding help them please in the name of Jesus Christ I command that devil to let you go now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a man you go to ease yourself and you're urinating blood I don't know what that condition is but you're urinating blood in the name of Jesus right now as I'm praying for you may the power of God touch you now there's someone you've been feeling something on your throat is as if um you know how you swallow something and it does not go down and it remains there it's been stuck for a long time in fact you are considering going to go and see the doctor so that they will check it maybe it's something that they need to take away right now as i'm praying the power of god is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing at least two people with this condition my god the lord is really healing i'm seeing several cases i'm seeing you wake up in the night and sit just sit on your bed you don't sleep for more than three hours no matter how long there is a spirit you can't once you wake up you can't go back to sleep again this thing has deteriorated your health i don't know who that person is in the name of jesus be healed now that person is at the back the back of this auditorium this is what i'm saying that whoever that person is there is a spirit you are at the back of this auditorium may the lord bring you healing now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone my goodness whatever you eat you have to throw it out uh, throw it up like you know how children eat and 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 throw up there's someone like that you are unable in fact you are being concerned that you are losing weight it's not like you are you are losing weight because you eat and then you just feel like you need to throw up something and you throw up what you have eaten it's a demonic condition in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now i'm seeing a lady this thing has brought shame for you a part you had a dream and from that dream it's like they shaved you know how you go to the barbing saloon and they shave part of your is it your head or something like that there's someone you had that and from that time your hair does not grow again this is a very very demonic thing right now whoever you are fire is coming on that person now nose bleeding 
there's this thing they call nose bleeding that you just stand i'm seeing a gentleman you even wake up in the morning sometimes and you see blood your nose is bleeding you've gone to the hospital they treated you they gave you drugs but it seems like it's not gone right now the power of god is touching you be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ now i'm seeing someone your 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 tie is it a surgery it's like they had a surgery and uh, of course respectfully speaking i don't know if it's that it was not done well but it looks like something is still broken there i'm seeing like the bone the bone here is still broken you are still feeling the pain it's not like you cannot walk but there is something broken there i declare healing right now now whether i mention your case or not be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name we change medical conditions right now in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus be healed in jesus name hallelujah now there is a woman sorry to have to describe the condition i'm seeing that your left breast started growing mysteriously like something is it looks like a lump or some you noticed it you are at the back this is a demonic thing you have not shared this thing with anybody i'm seeing this is a demonic thing it looks like a lump but if we don't pray against it they will tell you that you need to go for surgery because i'm seeing that this the devil wants to put cancer in your body we cause that spirit now hallelujah hmm. i'm watching a vision right now and i'm seeing someone pick like a cup of water to drink but that cup of water you see it was not ordinary water from the day you drank it something started happening to your teeth it's like you are losing your teeth one by one you've extracted some now and it looks like it's, it's like it's rottening i don't know it's, it's a condition you are feeling is literally it's as if you can pull out your teeth i don't know who that person is by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now now any health pattern running through families whether hepatitis my god whether hiv headache I'm going to mention a condition right now and when I mention that condition the power of God will start coming on a few people please don't be embarrassed this is a family I'm seeing symptoms of what we call obesity you don't have to be fat to, you are carrying that thing within you the power of God is setting you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ inside outside this is at least seven people is obey you know what obesity is that you you begin to get uh, you know ridiculously fat without controlling it whether you eat or not in the name of jesus i rebuke that demonic thing from your blood be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's a lady right now as i'm speaking to you you came here with terrible abdominal pain like abdominal pain it looks like there's fire all around your stomach you're going to feel that thing one more time and then it leaves you will never feel it again i bring you healing right now in jesus name now i believe that several miracles have happened here not just the ones that i i i you know i declared by the word of knowledge there are several people who have been healed this is what i want you to do we're going to hurry up I'm going to ask you to check yourself and the moment you check yourself already miracles are happening i will ask you to quickly please those who are outside all of the overflows and then those who are following online you can send in your testimonies all across the world let us know what the lord is doing for you right now there are people within this auditorium and there are people outside this a place the overflows even across the road the power of god has touched you check yourself i want you to make your way very quickly and come and stand here let's have a few testimonies very quickly let's celebrate them as they come celebrate them very quickly as they come hallelujah now while they are coming 
are you seeing the lord touching people koinonia is this the best you can do please open the doors for those who are coming from several overflows let them make their way to the front in the name of jesus christ whilst you are seated in the next one or two minutes i want you to pray in the spirit and declare that the spirit of poverty and lack over my life just do what i'm asking you to do break it right now by prayer lift your voice and pray whilst you are seated everywhere those who have been healed make your way to the front make your way to the front in the name of jesus while we are praying check yourself outside any and all miracles check yourself all the overflows do what you couldn't do before you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself do so very quickly do so very quickly jesus is healing jesus is healing you could not move your body move your body right now you couldn't see far try to look far right now please make sure you direct those who are coming from outside if you need to open the doors for them let's know so that we have them here quickly those who are healed and coming from outside check yourself in the name of jesus christ go ahead You are rebuking the spirit that is behind poverty. You are rebuking the spirit that is back of poverty. There are principles, but there are spirits. It is God's desire to prosper you. Keep coming. Keep coming in the name of Jesus miracles are happening by the spirit healings are happening by the spirit miracles are happening the lord is also showing me a woman you gave birth and since you put to birth your body has not been normal something happened to you and it looks like you've been sick having like fever again and again and again long after you are done giving birth the power of god is also touching you right now and he's bringing you healing he's bringing you life in the name of jesus if you are coming to share your testimony make your way to the front very quickly usher's protocol let's direct them very quickly so that we save time awesome god how great thou art you are lord mighty are your miracles i stand in awe of your holy and lord we pass and worship Awesome God, how great thou art, you alone, mighty are your miracles, standing on your holy Some of them can move here. There's no space. hallelujah sir this man wearing white please can you stand don't be embarrassed can you place your hand on your neck i want to pray for you i don't know what is there but the lord is asking me to rebuke it in the name of jesus i stretch my hands towards you and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may the anointing of the spirit bring you life right now and bring you healing i command a release for you right now in jesus name i pray hallelujah 
now just hold on before we start taking the testimonies please sit if you can please sit if you can just just bring everybody out now who begins to shout under the anointing whether inside or outside i'm seeing angelic activities the lord is bringing an end to very strange mysterious occurrences bring them everywhere all over the overflows there's something mysterious god is removing from lives and families bring them out we're talking about the power of jesus here bring them out you can't stand it it's not it is this is a word from god god is separating you he's bringing something out you will be surprised at the testimonies that come by this remember christ is revealed as the power of god There are still more people. I saw so many people in my visions. That anointing is coming on you. All over the overflow outside. Literally, an anointing will lift you from your seat. Literally. Let the end come now. In the name of Jesus, let the end come now captivity always has an end let the end come now around the balconies i'm seeing angelic activities around the balconies in the name of jesus let the end come now let the end come now in the name of jesus christ let the end you you can't stand this is the power of god come who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. oh, oh. Just be patient, we'll take the testimonies. But God is doing something here right now. I'm looking at 14 people. 14 people. I'm looking at you in the spirit, but I'm not seeing a face. I'm seeing you covered. You know how you want to shoot a criminal and you wear something on their face like a hood. The Lord is lifting that hood right now. That is the garment of shame. 14 people. The power of God is coming on you now. 14 people. The garment of shame. The garment of shame. Parakotos kedepata. We tear off that garment. Now from your destiny. Tear off that garment. From your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. That lady the third row first second third i command that spirit to let you go now in the name of jesus the third row in front i rebuke that devil let her go now now in the name of jesus release her i'm seeing that lady tied with what looks like snakes let her go now
who is Chinedu? I'm hearing a name Chinedu. Who is that? Chinedu. Now, the overflow outside. I want you to prepare. I want to pray a prayer for you. Something is going to happen outside. The overflow outside. Who is Chinedu? Where are you from, my friend? State. I'm no, from this man. Abia State. Huh? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. Do you believe that God is going to use you yes. as an instrument of deliverance? Yes. Don't just move the people. There's a reason why I ask them to come out. Yes. Ushers, don't just move them out. I'll pray for them. When I ask them to come out, is to pray for them. Huh? Yes, sir. You believe that God will lift them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This deity huh? yes. Yes. that was worshipped, yes. you know what I'm talking about? Yes, did yes. Did they tell you about it? Yes, yes. What did they tell you about the deity? That there is a deity that was worshipped. Yes. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes. Because I see you, you are a sincere man, but if I don't help you, you are rising and going down. You are rising. No, no, give him the mic. And you are going down. I want to pray for you. There's nothing to cry about, my friend. Please look up so that we'll save time. Don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray right now. I use him as a point of contact. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I'm praying for someone, but the anointing is leaving me and is touching someone else. You, Jesus. The person the anointing is touching is an usher. You are an usher yourself. You are walking. But the power of God is touching you because God is bringing liberty for you. This person that the power of God is touching is an usher. Why are they here? Chine, do all of you? I will pray with you. There's one of you here when I make the altar call, run and come and stand to Jesus. Run when it's time for the altar call because you need to make your ways very seriously right with Jesus. Hallelujah. My friend, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I command that spirit, anything that has to do with ancestral worship that is haunting you back, paraka shobratike baratuzia, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, ancestral worship, worship of deity. There are some of you here, you even see these deities appear to you. Right now I command, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let them go now. Release their names. Every name submitted in any shrine, submitted before any altar for your destruction. I declare be free now. Help that man, be free now. I set that shrine and that altar on fire. On fire. Let them go now. Let them go now. hallelujah and for all of you who are here in the name of jesus the power of god is coming on one of you right now one of you the china dues i don't know who but i just saw an anointing coming on you in the name of jesus i decree and declare god is taking something out of your body i declare be free right now in the name of jesus christ now please hear me don't feel bad and don't be embarrassed this is a miracle service there is someone is it your father or your grandfather was directly a priest like like a um um what they call them now who is that person i want to pray for you something is happening here directly i don't mean maybe directly your father a priest they have like a i don't want to use a a word that may be dishonoring but you know what i'm talking about a practitioner of witchcraft directly your biological father come and stand here Your name is to be hallowed. Your name is to be worshipped. Your name is to be hallowed. Hallelujah. 
now please don't listen carefully don't misunderstand me we are not saying you are evil people and we are not saying your parents they they i'm sure that many of them just got into certain practices listen there is one of you here don't feel bad i'm going to pray for you what your father or your grandfather has done has killed a lot of people and the causes of so many people are on that family listen to me what i'm telling you because i well i don't know now it's difficult to I'm i have to just obey what god is telling me please don't come out carelessly i'm not saying if there's witchcraft in your family we're all from africa i mean if your father directly was involved in this no no if they if they are there let them i will pray for them but one of you i'm sorry to use that expression your father is a herbalist he has been responsible for the death of many people including a man of god and there have been there have been causes and yokes to destroy that family we have to pray again this is a family of love i hope you understand what i'm doing and please we're not doing this so that you point fingers and condemn people remember that the anointing comes jesus has given us the ministry of reconciliation because there are some of you here you will think it's a joke the the ill speaking of people as a result of diabolic things do you know that every herbalist has children and when you say oh god destroy those who have caused me pain what do you think you are saying hallelujah young lady my dear look at me this fair lady where are you from Eva. huh christ Eva. ah jesus christ out of her now in the name of jesus ah. my goodness my god you see let me tell you this please hold on um you know when i teach it's good to listen to me listen to everything i'm saying and i'm also bringing this word of love and caution to those who put messages make sure that when you are putting these things you put everything we say don't just cut part of it that suits you and then use it to misrepresent people there are two families here married couple this is the real cause of the problem in your marriage the cause that has come as a it, it's all right my friend what is it you are a herbalist? My father is a sorcerer. Huh? sorcerer. Your... My father. No, no, don't worry. Don't feel bad. Eh? Where are you coming from? I'm from Edo. Akoko. Don't worry. I'll pray with you. Parents, let's repent and serve Jesus. You see, all this trouble that people, parents, they, I mean fathers, grandfathers, and you, if you are coming from a family of idol worship, don't let idol worship come out of you. Be that bridge. Are we together? Look how many people are here. All of these people will be married. Some are married. What do you think will happen to that home? Some are in business. This is why you can invite somebody and say, come, let's do business together. You just thought that you are inviting just a body. But you may not know you are inviting altars. And every time believers pray and say, God, punish evildoers. What do you think will happen? That's why it takes the ministry of the blood. We just finished the ministry on deliverance. This particular lady I just prayed for from Cross River. I need to pray because there is something terrible in this family. One of you here, your father has, to, is it your father or from your lineage? You are supposed to literally take over the priesthood. Who is that person? Directly, and they have been calling you as you are now. Come, come and stand here. Let God help you. I don't mean a vision, no. They've told directly, they are calling you now that you should come and take it. Ah, Lord of heaven. Don't, listen, listen, please. Let's, let's be orderly here. This is the house of God. Let them come forward. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Emo State, sir. Emo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You see, my friends, when Jesus comes, he truly can set free. This gentleman now, they are calling him do you know what happens when you reject that call if you do not know jesus christ and you don't have spiritual intelligence you will not have a life again that altar will tear anything if you are married sorry for your wife and your children if they are not grounded with understanding look at this fine young man but these wicked altars this guy probably went to school 
and yet the altars don't care my friend look at me do you believe in jesus christ yes i do yes sir is it your father my grandfather sir your grandfather yes sir. he's still alive no he's gone he's gone yes sir. and you are supposed to take over yes from my maternal home from your maternal home yes how about you my friend my grandfather and when he died his picture disappeared so i was told that i'm the uh, my auntie the elder uh, father my elder uh, fathers called me that i should come to the home before she died that i should come there's a message for me and i'm the one that's supposed to be in the shoe you are the one who is supposed to yes but god has called me as a pastor that's all right how about you mine it was my grandfather my father was the only son so when he died, my father was supposed to take over. But my father refused, became a pastor, and was frustrated. Now, I am the only son of my father. In other words, if my father took over, I'm the one that's supposed to take over from him. Both of us are in ministry, but frustrated. You and your father are both in ministry? Yes, sir. Oh, dear. Currently, my father's two legs is currently swollen up down to his private part. Very terrible situation. Battling with life right now. You see what I'm saying? I hope I'm not getting you to be afraid. But I'm just telling you that when god puts a miracle service like this believe me you don't want to know what people are going through my friend this man this one lifting his hand yes there sir. is a serious prayer i need to pray for you talk to me sir i was told that my father has a call of god upon his life but he chose it the wrong way and since i was growing up i was told that i am going to take the place of my father now he is late where is your father he's late now listen sir. to me don't feel bad mistakes were made it's a wrong group that led him i will not say more than that but he was involved in things he should not do do you understand and the every deity alive or dead every priesthood behind any altar that is troubling your life manipulating the happenings in your life because they are trying to call you back in the name of jesus christ i decree right now let fire fall now help them let fire fall now let fire fall now every occultic initiation they took you somewhere and initiated you into all kinds of demonic practices i declare be delivered now hear me and for all of you who have been threatened to come home and take on certain priesthoods in the name of jesus any altar that will not let you go i stand right now as a servant of the lord jesus christ you see there are two sides to god there is lion and lamb it depends on which one you choose to see in the name of jesus every altar alongside the priest behind it i command the earth to open and swallow them i command the earth to open and swallow them swallow them swallow them in the name of jesus hallelujah therefore i declare all of you who are out here i declare you free by the spirit of god go and prosper in jesus name you see let me give you an advice if you are coming from a family of intense witchcraft and priesthood don't be lukewarm in your christianity because you either choose to be deep into this thing or to be very serious with god if you come out and you just stand at the corridors of salvation these altars will tear you you hear what this my my dear friend is saying your father is now paralyzed huh his two legs are having problem completely completely the two legs and he's a pastor yes sir where is he in kogi sir in kogi yes sir. where are you from Kogi, sir. I'm an Igala. Do you know you have a prophetic call? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You do ministry with integrity, yeah? 
things and the lord will help you amen there are many things you need to know but then god will help you amen. listen and learn and grow amen. father use him mightily amen. the lord will use you to bring an end to these demonic patterns amen. hallelujah there is a place called aimba do you know that i'm seeing the power of god rest on people right now who are from that region listen listen carefully i just saw fire and i saw that name everyone who comes from that region if there is any altar that is holding you down I, i'm not asking you to come out you can just remain there for sake of time listen i'm praying now help them in the name of jesus christ i don't care what covenant connects you to all of those things by the blood of the eternal covenant be free now in jesus name those who came out for that call whether you are standing at the aisles go back rejoicing in jesus name go back rejoicing in jesus name hallelujah now there is someone this is strange there's someone the lord is asking me to pray for you you deal in spare parts that's what you do but i need i don't know why god will ask me to single you out and call you and pray for you is there someone like that i don't mean you are just you are this is what you do i want to pray for you because the salvation of many people is connected to you when you find that person please let me let me have that person we're about to pray let's take a few testimonies to glorify jesus who is ready who is this one why is he here you are healed spare part where in our person in the name of jesus christ you too okay so join him let me just pray for you even though in my vision this these are not the people i'm seeing but then i will still pray for you father in the name of jesus help these people it may look like what they are doing is small but i prophesy to you that though your beginning be small your latter end will greatly increase may the lord prosper you and he's prospering you not just for your sake he's prospering you for the sake of your loved ones because you need to be there for them he's raising you as a savior may he honor you in jesus name i pray amen god bless you okay very quickly let's have the testimonies yes All sir right. um so apostle she came in here with very severe pains in her throat she pain in your throat yes sir. how many years my dear sir I I normally have a sore throat. Okay. So when this pain started, it started last night. I was so scared that it yes. would be the sore throat. Yes. I took hot water. It did not stop. Today, as I was even sitting down there, I was having the pain. It was so serious. But as you were preaching, as you were praying for us, you, you, you mentioned of, of throat pain. Yes. And the pain and the pain Completely disappeared. Completely gone. I can swallow throat uh, spit now. In no the pain name again. of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. It Amen. never returns to you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, please. Then, sir, we have two fantastic testimonies again. Yes, please. You spoke about people that, you know, had been stammering. And okay. And they were healed. So I've been stammering for like 20 years. So it's been very difficult to talk. Sometimes. Stammering? Yes. You are yes, sure sir. of that? Yes, sir. Who knows him? I have a classmate. You have a what? We have, we have someone there. Who knows him as a witness? Tell us. We've been friends from secondary school. You've like. been friends from secondary school. Yes, He's sir. been a stammerer. Yes, sir. Right now. Yes, sir. Even when we came this morning. Even when you came. Yes, sir. And right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Repeat after me. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, should not perish but have eternal life. But have eternal Come on, life. give Jesus praise. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus, my friend, it will never return to you. And, and for this good friend, for coming to encourage him, in the name of Jesus, may good things look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Let me hear the testimony of Jesus. All right, sir. So it's similar case. Praise God. Boy, how are you? I'm fine, sir. What is your name? Alvin. 
Alvin. What happened to him? Who brought him? Sir, he, he actually was healed from stammering too. Oh, you were healed from stammering. I was wondering why the boy was there. Okay. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, the boy is crying. Stretch your hands towards this boy. Let's ask the Lord to use him. These are the kinds of things we want. When this boy becomes a preacher, he will remember his stammering and the healing alone can be a message for the lifetime of the ministry. Don't despise him. When you see an adult, you have seen what he will become. But when you see a little boy like this, pray for him. Father, use this boy mightily. It's been our prayer for many years that Koinonia children will become mighty battle axes in the hands of God. And it is still our prayer. May the Lord use you mightily. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate him. God bless you. Yes, please. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those who have surgery done in their tie, not properly done. This lady came. The surgery was done 15 years ago. Let, let her speak. Um, the surgery was done. It was from an accident. You had an accident. Yes. How long? 15 years ago. And what happened? Um, femoral fracture. Uh -huh. So it happened that the bone didn't join properly. So um, one inch, one leg is longer than one by one inch. I'm not able to stand on the other leg. And... Lately, it has been paining me, so I went to do a straight. Okay. So said, you couldn't stand on the other leg? Yes, and severe pain. Okay. Lately. And right now? There's no pain at Completely. all. Completely. Which of the legs? This right. Match with it. Let me see. I've been standing on it for a Oh, while you've been now. standing on it. Look yes. at She couldn't stand on it. She came there with the pain today. You came in with the pain? Yes, sir. Walk. But now she's healed. Any pain? Any pain? The same case for our brother here yes. four years ago. What happened to you? Four years ago. So four years ago, I have an accident when I, I'm working in Philly Station. So all of a sudden, I was treated by all those traditional medicine. I have been seated for more than one year on the floor, receiving my treatment. So look at the evidence. The leg is not even set because of the injury on my leg. So it used to inch me sometimes. The leg used to hold me. Wherever I'm even praying, I can't even do this on my own. But after the prophecy, I key to the prophecy, all of a sudden, as you declare, yes. instantly the pain just went off. Hallelujah. Stand up, my friend. Stand up. Please come. That's not why you came out. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. You see, the association you are part of determines what happens to you. You are a great man, but it's, it's not for me to speak. I'm on air, but something has been done to you you are loyal and obedient to a grace and anointing that you served and they did many things in a bit to open your eyes prophetically this is a demonic thing you need to be delivered now i stretch my hands i release you from that spirit out of him now in the name of jesus christ it is true you are really called to be a prophet but not by this thing. You see, if God does not open your eyes, your eyes cannot be opened. All these things, I'm, I'm, not being, I'm not being sarcastic, but all these things drag you to the river and all of this, there is a scriptural way to obtain grace. And we have to be careful because we may be sincere people, but let's be careful. When you, you are only safe when you walk within the zone of scripture. This person is not a bad person. Are we together now? And I'm not maybe condemning or talking about any ministry, but we have to be careful. In the name of Jesus, again, I set you free. This spirit that appears to you, let him go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And there is, there is a wicked pattern. Southern Kaduna. Parus Kadina Kaprahaski Badia. Gratus Kedibredigi Baraduzia. God is going to use you as a mighty vessel. I'm releasing this grace on you mighty vessel there are people within that region that God will use you to bring supernatural deliverance to receive that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ let's give Jesus praise you gave word of knowledge for those with bleeding gum she had had the challenge for four years for bleeding, those who bleeding and swollen gums she has, she has gone to the confidence use her tongues it's no longer bleeding bleeding again. what gum gum for how long for over four years now sir and right now it's gone, like gone it's completely. Gone. In the name of Jesus, 
it will never return to you again yes please Very short quickly. sightedness from birth Healed from by birth the, from birth now she can what see couldn't you me. see like um colors colors and then letters it's really hard but while you were preaching i felt heat all over my face so i had to sit down and then when i got up everywhere was beautiful everywhere was beautiful And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what is again? In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, you ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very ready, sir. Um, please come. So, similar experiences we've been having. We've been having twin twin miracles, apostles. So, let's just take them. Yes. Praise God. I had this breast pain for over a year, and while you were speaking before the prayer started, the, the pain vanished. Completely gone. Yes, sir. How about you, my dear? Praise the Lord. I had a dream that a dog wanted to suck my breast, and I refused. Immediately, I woke what up kind from of the it? dream. You, you see how my these right Luciferian dreams are? You, hold on, please. There's a lesson there. You can see anything that is not consistent with scripture i have taught you when you get up don't just record it and leave it there you rebuke it in the name of jesus every dream is a seed by the principle of biology a seed are you understanding not not meeting you have to receive the seed for fertilization to happen so that dream is a seed you can receive it through fear and it will start growing and manifest or you can reject it Barrenness is a condition where the woman's body can reject the seed of a man. That means you have the power to reject certain seeds. Like this kind of demonic seed. So you have a dream that a dog was trying to suck your breast. I, I refuse in the dream. So when I recall immediately. You know those the I Bible noticed. called dogs? You see that? Yes. So I noticed I fasted and I prayed about it. After what some happened time, now? I started feeling the pain three days ago. I went to the hospital for checkup yesterday. Yes. They perpetrated my breast. There is not no seed and not nothing. Today, when I came to the side, the breast was paining me. So I touched it. I'm not feeling any pain again. It's gone completely. Let's give Jesus praise. In the name of Jesus, for both of you, I decree and declare that the workings of darkness will never prevail over your life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Yes, sir. Apostle, you gave one of knowledge of those with movement in their body. Now, she had an encounter 10 years ago that she swallowed something in the dream. And since then, it's not. Uh, 10 years ago, Straight I had Straight to the a point, dream. madam. Yes. Yeah, I swallowed a serpent. You and swallowed? A serpent, a snake. In a dream? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So, ever since, I've been having hot flushes and then things crawling on my body. While you were given the word of knowledge, I fell under the anointing. So I had to come out. Even while we're saying something about altars, I fell again under the anointing here like twice. Remember what I taught? Christ revealed as the power of God to destroy those things. Your body is not a zoo that snakes move up and down. So anything you swallowed, I'm praying for you again, that anything you have swallowed that is of the devil, I command it to leave you now. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Let's give Jesus praise. Next, please. Very quickly. Uh, mommy, here the same thing since 2009. Something has been moving in What happened body. to mama? Let her speak very quickly. Yeah. Since 2009, I had a dream and someone scraped my, the middle of my hair. And since then, it doesn't grow. And Your hair doesn't... Oh, the, the woman I was talking about. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, again, uh, any, any time that I eat, it seems as if the food doesn't go down well. And again, another thing, I used to feel a uh, moving object in my body. And everything, the Lord has stepped in. Yeah. Mama, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. None of these things will return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. One more, yes. Script here, 13 years ago. 13 here, years. Here, script. Let her speak, ma. So I was sleeping and I dreamt, and in the dream, uh, they shaved my head. Now, are you, no are you noticing these patterns? Remember the prayer we prayed last week that your dreams be supernaturally sanctified. Your dream should not be a point of initiation. And in case you were not there last week, I pray this prayer for you. Or you were here last week and did not take it seriously. Everything manipulating your dreams. You can see that they're having experiences beginning from the dream 
but then it is manifesting physically i pray for someone here everything manipulating your dreams and visionary experiences to confuse you and open you up to vistas of destruction i declare be free now be free now i sanctify your dreams in the name of jesus christ yes ma hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.